I'm grew up in uh, Mexico and I'm come here uh, for Collins in 1998 almost done almost 1999 and my fam my wife is a uh, Guatemala and I'm married for 20 years right now and uh, my whole family is Catholic and I'm so supposed to be me Catholic but my grandpa my grandma my mother my father so everybody is Catholic Many many years don't go any church, and uh, when when I uh, send me the invitation to the this church, I'm thinking about it. And my uncle was talking to my parents to come to church, and I was eavesdropping. <laughs> and I called him and I was like, "Hey, can you take me to church with you?" And he said, "Yeah." And he picked me up, and when he did that, and we came to church, I really loved the service. Everything that um, Hermano Diego was saying, because Pastor was in Mexico current at the time. So whatever what he was saying like hit me hard. And I went home and I told my dad, I was like, hey dad, like we should go, like it sounds amazing, like this is incredible. And then he's like, yeah, well, I'll think about it. I was like, no, like we're going, <laughs> like let's go. The first time I came to church here, I was a little bit nervous. I didn't know anybody except my uncle and all well, my family members. And Hermano Diego, he proudly came up to us and said hi. And that kind of got me the nerves away, and I started listening to the preaching. I liked it. When the service was over, my dad, well, not my dad, it was more like the devil. He was mad that my dad came to church, so my dad got out. And he's like, you know what? He's like, I'm not coming anymore. I don't want to do this anymore. Drinking, I'm drinking too much every day. Every day is drinking. Show up my home around that seven or eight at night, and I'm drinking. And uh, my family is not happy. And I think, oh, I'm I'm a good person and I'm good good father, but it's wrong. Everything is wrong. Mis hijos han sufrido mucho porque mi esposo tomaba mucho. Yo caí en depresión también y por un año eh, yo también tomaba todos los días. Todos los días eh, tomaba, no sentía paz en mi corazón y tomaba por eso. With my parents drinking, I got my permit, my driver's license, because I didn't want them drink, yeah, drinking and driving. So I became their personal chauffeur, but it was it was harsh when I had to go pick them up like at 2 in the morning, 1 in the morning, and then taking care of my siblings. He was a little bit more aggressive when he was drinking parties, him getting drunk, and then stuff happening at the parties. Some things before I was saved that were like difficult were trying to fit into this picture-perfect thing, seeing social media, trying to become something I'm really not. School was a little bit problematic. I started being a troublemaker, I started getting into fights, and I wanted to stop all of that. It got me sad because like, I, I, I didn't want to go to heaven without him. Like, I didn't want to be up in heaven and him somewhere else. Yo había gritado en mi cuarto que si Dios existía, que dónde estaba. Dije, si tú existes, Dios, ¿dónde estás? Porque te necesito. When he said that he was, he wasn't gonna come anymore, it really got me sad. But being a Rodriguez, <laughs> I told him, Dad, please, I cried to him. I told him, I was like, Dad, please, like, I don't want you to go to hell. I wanna see you in heaven with me. And he's like, oh, okay, fine, we'll go. The third Sunday we come, I'm upset the gospel to the Jesus Christ, and my life is changed. It's, it's, it's 360 degrees changed my life. Esto es Dios que me está buscando para que yo, yo lo acepte a Dios. When he was saved on Thanksgiving, I gave huge thanks to the Lord. Uh, one thing he really changed when he 
when he got saved was he stopped drinking, he said no more drinking, and a few days later my uncle got him a Bible, and every day he's been uh, reading his Bible. The difference in my life when save, it, after save, is don't scream anymore on my, my son and my daughter for nothing. Me and my brother, before I was saved, didn't get along at all. Like, I, we couldn't even have one conversation without, like, it ending up in a fight. And now that, like, God is in our hearts and in our home, we, we still fight, but, like, it's, it's not about the things that it used to be. So now we just fight over the remote, <laughs> like normal siblings do. <laughs> Comemos y hablamos de Dios. Mi esposo, estamos siempre preguntándole por qué. So... I'm glad and I'm, I'm happy that the Lord, that the Lord came into our life. Nobody should be afraid of sharing the gospel. Because if my uncle was afraid to share the gospel, my I wouldn't be here. And I wouldn't have gone out of a toxic relationship that was hurting me. You don't know what you're doing by giving somebody a track or by just telling them, hey, God loves you. Don't forget that. God's with you. You can change and you can teach other people the gospel to help them change their old lives. I want to go to the church because he's, he's really changed, changed life. You, you, need, you need belief. You need belief for, for Jesus Christ. Y le doy gracias a Dios por eso, porque Él es el único que puede transformar nuestras vidas. Like God loves me, He won't leave me alone. I got this. God's answered everything.